So patch 1.04 for Tekken 8 just released. And these are the changes I'm gonna be going over for King. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So first on the list here, Heat Smash. Got a four point, four point reduction. Used to be 64, but it's down to 60. Um, not too big of a nerf. I mean, it still has incredible range. Still hits from super far away, so that's still really, really good. I mean, that's that's okay. I don't really mind it. But uh, yeah, I think still, you know, they didn't they didn't change the um, the frames when you cancel it. They still haven't addressed the fact that um, on block the heat smash is actually plus seven if you cancel it, and not plus twelve like it's listed in practice mode. But uh, I guess I could show you guys real quick. That's just something that's um, just a little icky, you know? Like, why do they have that? So I'm gonna say King to Jab here. And the first thing is just gonna be the block. So I'm gonna do Chest Bump, which is 17 frames. You see the jab trades with it, so that means it's plus seven if it can trade with a jab. Yeah, so, um, yeah, not plus 12. But yeah, next thing up, they have, um, they have listed down one plus two, so the Atlas Hammer got a bug fix, I guess. They expanded the, um, window or something relax the input window to make it easier to execute so I'm trying to do it as late as possible from like holding down like down then do it yeah not really something I don't even know why they changed that <laughs> I guess I'll take it yeah so next up is this move here got a bug fix. Apparently, it was possible to grab people out of the air with that. I personally have never seen that happen before, so um, I don't know what's up with that. So I guess like if they were trying to jump or something, that would like transition into the standing version. So yeah, that doesn't work anymore. Even though like I've never seen it. If you guys have seen that happen before, let me know in the comments. Even better, like post it in my Discord, like a video of that. That would be very interesting. <laughs> okay, so next up, back three, got an adjustment. It's pretty much just a uh, like a bug fix. Apparently, um, I guess the armor would wear off or something while they were swinging. I don't know. Again, that's just another thing I just have not seen. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I just don't know. Another thing I've just never seen before, but back three got, it looks like a buff. It says like a, just a, a neutral, like it's not a buff or a nerf, but if it's benefiting King in any way, it's a buff, you know, however slight it is. Okay, so Jaguar Sprint 2. Now this has happened to me before. Like, they will switch sides. You guys remember in Tekken 7? It actually happened against uh, Q-Dines, I wanna say. Like, I did this move and we like switched positions. They took that out for the regular Shadow Lariat. And instead it was on this version from the Jaguar Sprint. But that doesn't happen anymore. Thanks to this patch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping that in the clips. Yeah, that's that's not supposed to be happening. Yeah, it said it alleviated an issue where the positional relationship with the opponent becomes different than intended when used near the wall. So I don't know what that means. I hope it's not like the side switch thing because I just did that. But yeah, random. So this was a pretty big one here, guys. So when he has heat activated and he lands a successful like shining wizard, 
you see he gets a big chunk of his heat back which is really cool <laughs> you see that it's almost like one six that you get back and it doesn't even matter if it's like the regular version or the blue like spark hold up let me try and get it yeah you see it's one six pretty much same for a uh, giant swing huge huge chunk of heat back i wish they would have actually like mentioned the like time for it but it's, it's all good you get a grip back however muscle buster just doesn't give as much back you see i don't know the reason behind that they, they're acting like it's a um like an air throw or something because air throws don't give a lot of heat back see yeah it's like half of the one six or whatever but the wall throw shining torpedo gives a grip back yeah yeah shining torpedo is really really good let me try and get it like right at the tip here okay yeah one six that's really good so all three of those throws really all four so giant swing shining wizard tier one of twister and shining torpedo they all give one full six of the bar so that's actually really good and the last thing the last thing here is low parrying <laughs> yeah for whatever reason if you were to tap forward first like hold it and then try to hold down forward to parry you couldn't do it you couldn't do the low parry you would just get hit by the low and that was so weird but now it doesn't matter you can hold forward just tap down plus forward while holding it you get the low parry like a normal Tekken character crazy that king was so top tier and he couldn't even low parry every time crazy but most people didn't even know about that glitch. That's like something a King Specialist would know about. But yeah, so that is pretty much it for his like unique changes. But I want to go over the counter hit throws. Now this was something that's affecting every character. So counter hit throws, there are no longer 10 frames to break their 14 you have an increased window so this is kind of like tag two how it was but just one frame less like there weren't counter hit throws in Tekken tag two but like the regular throws you have 15 frames to break them so counter hit throws on Tekken eight you have 14 frames so i'm going to set king to just do like muscle buster and i'm just gonna just set the uh the bot to be on counter hit you know i'm gonna do it for myself as well it makes this ridiculous sound like an explosion like a hard hit it's still pretty difficult to break but you have way more room like than before 10 frames you know that's the speed of a jab so i'm glad that they didn't make it like back to normal so it's still it's still a pretty good strength for king However, they did not change his blue sparks. So let me um, try and do the blue spark stuff. Okay. It looks like the blue spark is still seven frames to break. And this is something that I always wanted, guys, is for King to have something that belongs to him when it comes to the throw system. And this blue spark is it here. So if you get counter hit by a blue spark giant swing. Look, you see when I hit the button, right? You have to hit the button as soon as he grabs you. Yeah. Still seven frames to break. Has to be. Same goes for um, ISW. Let me try and get this off. Now that was not it. Okay, there it is, there it is. And I'm gonna set the tier one to it just for good measure. Yeah, and both of those, so let me just try and break them.
Oh goodness. Yeah, my inability to break throws is showing. Okay. Yeah, I hit two, but way, way too late. See? Yeah, it's still... Man, that sound is annoying, right? <laughs> yeah, so King's blue sparks are still unchanged. I hope that they don't, like, revert that or something or, like, make them, like, have a longer break window. I really hope they don't do that. Let King have something. Let him have something. Because he still doesn't have a wall combo ender, guys. That's, that's something that I mentioned in my last video, I believe. Yeah. Let him keep what he has. He, he really doesn't need any, like, buffs. He doesn't need any more nerfs. Like, just leave him as is. And leave throws alone. Just leave him alone. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about this patch 1.04. And the pending 1.05 coming next month. Man... I'm hoping they, they just leave our boy alone and like nerf these other characters. I really don't even think anyone needs buffs like that. Let the game kind of mature a little bit. Like they don't have to just destroy characters or buff characters to the moon because we've seen what would have happened with that. Jack, Leroy, oh my goodness, man. That's like a whole nother video idea there. That's a whole nother subject. They got buffed so, so hard. And same for uh, Zafina. Just like, why? And then you had like June getting hit pretty hard. Azucena got hit pretty hard. Dragon Off is still okay. Fang is still really okay too. But um, yeah. King, he's still strong. He's still incredibly strong as of this patch, but who knows what's in store for June? We can only remain optimistic and keep on fighting.